Hey everyone, so now we're on to uh, finding out what our essential elements are for math, for your math learning activities. Now we're doing this again. Uh, we had done this the first learning cycle with uh, digital learning, sorry, digital literacy and computer science. But I feel like we could take a second look at this and think about what were what would our essential elements be for our math learning activities? Um, they might be a little bit different. Um, and especially, I want to make sure that this class and this learning activity that you're creating um, is most relevant to you as a teacher. Um, most of the teachers in this course at the moment uh, are going for careers in special education. And what are the things that we need to make sure that we are doing as special education teachers to better help all students of all levels uh, achieve these standards, achieve these math learning um, activities. And I've given you a bunch of resources here um, of interventions and strategies for helping students uh, that might have um, uh, special needs. So have a look at those and decide four different essential elements that you need to make sure you're including in all of the different learning experiences that you're giving your students. After your four lists, choose one essential element um, that you think will best align for the learning activity that you will be designing or the learning activity, or sorry, to, uh, the be <laughs> to best align to your standard. Um, so then after you do that, uh, to get an outstanding score, just make sure you post on one other person's uh, essential elements and describe how you might incorporate that into a lesson that is aligned to your chosen standard. Okay, well, have a good time looking through some of these activities and you might actually have your own resources or your own knowledge uh, about um, teaching and learning uh, for all students. So you might include those uh, essential elements as well.